Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to uh, Bevs with Plants. This is Planto Tres. I'm on the Sangers today. Let's get cracking. What's up? Welcome to Barcelona. Welcome to the new apartment. Get around here. Pretty nice. Actually, whoops, I just spat a chip. I gotta show you something. This is my favorite part about the new apartment in Barcelona. We've got our mate Abdul. He has like a, a fruit shop, literally just down there. Abdul. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Oh, manzana, manzana. Good. Thank you. 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 This is a loaded question. I'm gonna to have to go with Carla this time. I'm sorry, Nico. The Spanish equivalent of little fat lamb. Expand on your answer. All right, one sec. So for those that don't know, little fat lamb is like plastic bottle cider and you can get it in Australia and you can get very lit for a very little price. It's cost effective, which is what we like here. And this, it's Don Simon Sangria. And you can actually get it in Australia, I'm pretty sure. Plastic bottle, 7%. It's like cordial essentially with a bit of alcohol in it. I highly recommend. How has Europe's relaxed views on nudity startled you? Expand on your answer. Nico, hitting me with the old expand on your answer. Mate, I will expand if I see fit. And I do see fit. The nudity here is great. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but no, it is much more chill here, especially we lived in Ibiza last year and the beaches it's like, it's just normal. Good on them for being comfortable in their skin and not making it taboo. My favorite beach in Ibiza is called Escaviet. We call it the zucchini beach, Escaviet, because that beach in particular is like, it's got like a gay bar on the beach. So you see a lot of zucchinis whilst you're there. One of my favorite things about Spain is it's not lame to wear goggles to the beach. It's like a pool. It's like you're swimming in an aquarium, basically. It's dead flat, super clear water and I just chuck on the gogs and I go for a swim and I just chase the fish, not chase them, but like look at the fish <laughs> and it's incredible. And you may also see like probably 25 willies <laughs> whilst you're there, but like it's a dick. You've seen a dick before, probably. I hope you have. They're great. <laughs> Breeza has messaged in on your Breeza and she said, finally, oh, she said finally is in, she wants another vid. Get around her. What foods are you missing from Australia? I miss coals. The thing that I miss consuming the most is tap water. <laughs> because here, you can't drink the tap water. Like you can, but it's pretty sh not good. Sometimes I buy like soda water because I'm like, if I'm gonna buy it, I might as well buy it with bubs. I'm on that burr. Burr. Cloudos! I think we've got like seven questions from Cloudos, so we're gonna go speed round. Ding, ding. Would you rather be Italian or be sad? <laughs> Italian seems pretty good to me. I don't know, maybe the Italians know better. Fave Mamma Mia song. Whoa. I choked on the chip. Without a song, that's what are we? Deep AF, and it reminds me of my childhood. Next question Are we human? Or are we dancers? We're dancers, clearly. What's your favorite dance move? This one. It's the old. 100% wipeout. Forget about the consequences. Say, I love bobbies in Spanish. I think she means tetas, but I'm gonna go with bobbies. Me encantan los bobbies. Me encantan los bobbies. What's your favorite kind of cloud? The Zagontinos variety? Estoy enamorado con los bobbies. And fave song right now. I love Gambino, let's go. I was never fake. I was just too good to be true. That's acid rap. We killed the track. You had your chance at being too. Eddie Grenfell, Saints won against Geelong. It's more of a statement than a question, but she's right. She's not wrong. The Sainers did beat the Catters. Sainers are good this year. Last time the Sainers beat the Catters, I was a university student. On your Sainers, they're actually very good. Max King is a beast. This actually leads us into How about Adam Catters? How about Adam Catters? This is a tomahawk. Look. Get up, yeah. 26, what a ledge. Catters this year, they're not quite, they're on the brink. We keep win, loss, win, loss, win, loss. If their record was one better, they'd be like top four con contenders. Maybe they can push for a flag. I don't know if anyone can beat Melbourne, but, and then on the other hand, if they'd lost one more, it'd be like, 
not good enough. I'm hoping, my hope is that new game plan, we're changing the strategy a bit. Second half of the year, we're gonna get used to it a bit more and who knows, we could give it a tilt, but at the moment, we're just kind of hanging in there. I'm happy we're blooding a bunch of young talent. Can't look at us, how about them? The big hand from the Stan, big Gamla Stan. She's not actually from Gamla Stan, but she's from Stockholm, so what a legend. I'm gonna send um, it. <laughs> would you rather have a kangaroo, a wallaby, or a quokka as a pet? A quokka is like, they're these cute, cute AF, this size animal, and it only exists in like this one island called Rock Island because they thought it was like a rat's nest, but the quokka. It should be called Quok Nest Island. And they've never had predators. So they're the most calm and like sociable animals you've ever seen. And I would love a quokka as a pet. Good question, Han. I actually have a friend here in Spain. She's Swiss Chileno and she loves the Hilltop Woods. <laughs> Bit of nosebleed <laughs> section. <laughs> Next up is Carl's. Should people over 65 be allowed to vote? This links to another question that I got from Schneido. What's your hot take on the Oz election? The seas are gonna rise, we're all gonna die. What milk do you drink? Actually, this is a good one because in Spain, the milk is very different to Australia. You don't get fresh milk, everything is long life. I get this shit. It's uh, without fat desnatada because when things are long life, they taste more like full cream milk. Next up, Big Mikos. What is your favorite part of living in Spain? Probably just the ease of international travel. In Australia, you're like, long weekend, let's go to fucking Barramunga. In Spain, it's like, long weekend, let's go to, I don't know, Berlin. It's lit. Hey Jess, know what time it is? It's time for sales chat. Let's get the gear on. Shit. Tay Tom. Sales chat, we lost today. So it's going to game seven. Even when we were down, like for the majority of the game today, I thought we were gonna win because we we're getting much easier shots than they were and they were making like difficult, long contested threes. So I was like, that's gonna, not gonna last, but it lasted. Even without the old Disney Channel villain, he could absolutely be like a, a Lizzie McGuire villain. And he doesn't know, he doesn't know that he's a meme. Is Chad an adjective? Now it is. Anyway, I really hoped that we'd win today to recover a bit before the finals, but the Celts could legit win the chip this year. Anything's possible! Anything's possible!